Welcome back, stars. moons and stars i want to welcome back all of you to our channel if you are new go ahead and hit that subscription button this is my elements reading and how it goes is we have all signs if you have your birth chart you would want to get that out right now if you do not there's a link in the description box below where you can receive a free birth chart from a reputable site okay um, I'm going to start here with the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. Make sure to check out the monthlies for December. You may find something that will resonate with you there. Okay. Now, um, as I've already done my meditation calling the appropriate guidance protection and coverage needed for us while we are here in this reading i just ask that you keep an open mind because parts may resonate with you parts may resonate with your person it can also resonate with someone you're thinking of in your environment an ex a co-worker it depends on what comes out okay any information that you need will be in the description box below. I do not offer private readings. Occasionally, I will do a reading if I am called to do so um, by those that donate, okay? Again, all the information you need will be in the description box below. We're going to go ahead and get into the reading. Now, I want to see where you are at, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. What is your energy? Ether, show me what it is. I need to see. All right, so you're in the energy of transformation. Some of you could be connecting with the Scorpio or a Pisces. Some of you are um, in the middle of a spiritual awakening. Others of you are coming out of some sort of delusion here, okay? Yeah, you could also be dealing with an Aquarius or have that in your chart as well as a Leo. However, uh, this is saying that someone has moved forward either to, due to something coming out or um, due to someone not confronting uh, our subconscious issues. Um, I was going to say uh, their ego. Okay, you may have felt or someone may have felt that you were too egoic or the other person. Okay, so right now. Off top, we have Aries and we have Jupiter. Jupiter um, is the planet for Sagittarius. So this is telling me again that there's a new beginning. Possibly someone having to travel to you or you to them in a partnership. Right now, someone is definitely trying to get stable. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. Either show me what it is I need to see. All right. So, yeah. Someone's definitely dealing with the Capricorn or... Um, an Aquarius, um, as well as a Taurus or a Libra, okay? So most definitely something has come out. For others of you, you completed a karmic cycle. Um, some of you may be connecting with a soulmate at this present, okay, or your person is. There may, there may also be going through some sort of power struggle with Mars here. This is also the planet of Aries and Scorpio, okay? So, yeah, strong Scorpio energy, strong um, manipulation. Again, check out the Scorpio reading as well as the Aries and any other sign you are led to, okay? So, I feel like there was a lot of delusions in your situation that caused someone to have a power struggle, okay? So, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, show me what it is I need to see. Show me. Yeah. Okay, so we have, again, this is going to be transformation reading all the way around the board. So obviously some of you are connecting with fire signs. If not, you're just in the middle of um, a transformation. I'm also hearing there could be an Aries 
um, that you're dealing with are Aries coming towards you or a Scorpio, okay? Yeah, something's going to come out or has come out about this Gemini or Leo that caused some sort of tower moment. Uranus rules Aquarius, okay? So there was definitely something that came out that was unexpected regarding... Um, if I had to clear the storage okay so um, hopefully I can piece this together so there was definitely some sort of tower moment um, something was revealed to you Taurus Virgo Capricorn about um, a partnership possibly about communication someone was communicating with their ex that could be you um, Capricorn, you could also be dealing with the Aries or as a Scorpio. Okay, so some of you uh, was using your intuition. I'm hearing a third party situation. Okay, it could have been the Capricorn, uh, Aries, um, Cancer, or Scorpio have something to do with it. But this is telling me that this had something to do with karma. Okay, maybe you are in a third party. Three, three party situation or four party situation with possibly an Aries, yeah, Leo. Someone definitely is uh, going to court, okay? They're in the litigation right now. You could be a Libra or an Aries, or this could have something to do with this, okay? So someone is looking forward to a new beginning. Why is, oh, well, Ether, show me what it is I need to see for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Capricorn, all right? So for, for those of you that are not Capricorns or dealing with one, this is about your stability. This is also about karma, all right? This is also about you having the courage. For some of you, you are needing to have um, soft control while going through this um, transition. So you may be doing a lot of observing, I'm hearing, okay? And you're finding out a lot, okay? This is also regarding... Um, affairs of the heart some of you didn't know um things about okay possibly about your mother okay uh, this reading does not want to get done for some reason okay so somebody's thinking something about their stability you're finding out things about your past okay um gemini libra aquarius what's going on oh. Obviously, there's a separation. Again, something has come out, come out with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, make sure to have your chart. If you know your sun, your moon, and your rising, and your Venus, you will get a lot of information from this reading. Okay? Yeah, there is definitely some communication with Pisces or communicating with Source. For some of you, we have what's going on for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Eat there. Show me. Using your intuition, possibly about a cancer, or you could have a cancer in your cancer in your chart. For others, this is speaking about your um, your mother. You could be a child's mother, or this could be about your matriarch. Okay, something could be happening with the mother side of your family as well. Okay, so moving forward, possibly after you have this um, tower moment. Okay, something unpredictable having to do with the justice system or bringing balance to a situation that there was a lot of misconceptions, illusions, delusion, uh, possibly a lot of um, codependency here. Okay, you could be dealing with the Scorpio as well, but this is telling me there's a transformation. Somebody is walking away. Now, this could be away from a lifestyle, a way of thinking, okay? I feel like you had a lot of manipulation in your current or past situation, whatever you're leaving from, whatever toxic situation you're trying to get up out of, okay? Either show me what it is I need to see for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Either show me. Okay, so we have Sun in Aquarius. Some of you could have Sun in Aquarius, or this could have something to do with a Leo or an Aquarius. For others, this is about something um, coming to the light in the future. Okay, you could also see someone as being very egotistical. Or someone views you that way. They can also see you as stubborn. This could have something to do with the Taurus. Or about your stability and your finances here. There's definitely a transformation with this Pluto energy, with this 222 two, two, that could resonate. Because this is also a card of twos. Water signs, cards of two, yeah, six, right? So this is about balance, harmony, 
All right, someone feels um, out of place. I, I've, you, are they out? Okay, someone feels like they outstayed their welcome. Okay, possibly uh, Pisces or a Cancer. Either show me what it is I need to see. Oh, okay. So yeah, strong Pisces energy. Neptune is all about the subconscious. Okay, so someone can either have a lot of choices, or there was a lot, um, a lot of obstacles in between you two. Um, someone that you are dealing with, possibly a Libra or a Pisces, and even an Aries. Okay, uh, wants to bring balance to a situation. This person could also be in court in litigation. Okay, spiritual court for some of you, and physical court. All right. Yeah, most definitely there's an ending. Aries or Scorpio, Pisces could have, uh, yeah, uh, something to do with this. You have, you may have been in court with this person uh, battling for a long time. Okay, for some of you, you were battling your own emotions, trying to figure out what was real and what wasn't. All right. All right, I want to know... Why is Venus here? Clarify Venus for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like for you, there's a karmic completion. Saturn is telling you, you know, um, it's time for you to set boundaries or abide by boundaries here. I feel like um, some of you may have tried to transform a relationship that that was meant to close. Okay, you may be understanding that, and for some of you, overstanding that. Okay, others you may have sixth or seventh house in uh, Capricorn, where you get with these people and things don't seem to work out. I feel like it's because you are settling or you lowered your standards. I feel like someone from your past here, someone that obviously thought they were better than you or they could perform better than you. Um, this person can have Leo in their chart, but it doesn't have to be. Again, I feel like this person is watching you. Okay, this is someone that has expensive tastes. Okay, I feel like you are um, this person's soulmate. Now, what level? I do not know. With the quarter life crisis, some of you could be in your 20s. And this is also my midlife crisis as well. Okay, so someone is obviously looking off yonder. Um, um, looking into the clouds, trying to figure out you know, where this love went. For some of you with this lover's card, you could be dealing with the Gemini. I feel like either you or your person may do a lot of online dating or a lot online flirting. Something definitely came to a close here with Saturn here. But others of you, you're manifesting your true life partner with the fireball. This is also the card of uh, the emperor. So this is telling me that you may be doing, getting out, um, doing a lot of dating. The emperor is uh, Aries and Taurus okay so why is Capricorn here for earth signs so karmic completion for some of you right okay so we have the Empress some of you are uh, business owners whether if you male or female you may do a lot of studying okay this is telling me that you are, are your, your finances is on point or will be on point. Some of you could be doing a lot of working out. You may need to stretch as well with the yoga instructor. You could also be a yoga instructor. Some of you could also be uh, married, uh, again, going through some sort of divorce, okay? Or you could be having a midlife crisis, okay? Saying, oh, you know, I don't have no children. I don't have this. I don't have that, okay? All right, so yeah, I feel like... <laughs> Um, I feel like whoever this earth sign, these earth signs is, whether you're male or female, okay, your finances is going to be looking really great with the Wheel of Fortune here, okay? Someone could also want a partnership with you. You could also be starting a new business, okay, with the full card, you, um, uh, entrepreneur uh, business. It could be spiritual or, you know, I'm getting herbs. Some of you may make your own uh, coffee. That's OK, so, yeah, you could be dealing with the Aquarius or a Aries as well as a Sagittarius and a Taurus. OK, so. Oh, all right. So I'm not going to take these cards, but you may also be again in court as well as receiving some sort of justice, possibly due to a third party. 
um, situation. You may have uh, used your in, you may have used your intuition about this person in the past. Someone that came off aloof. Okay, with this moon energy, you could have been dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces, or you could be one. All right, someone ghosted you or left you void of emotion. Okay, you may have expressed yourself a lot in this situation and you felt like you got very little in return. Someone is worried about being ghosted here. Why it, oh yeah, this, they keep wanting to come out. Okay, why is Uranus here for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Ether, show me what it is I need to see. Show me what it is I need to see. Mm -hmm, okay. So someone was either using their intuition and move moving uh, forward. I feel like you were, okay, you were dealing with someone that possibly body shamed you, okay, or you were body shaming someone else. I feel like someone refused to complete a cycle here with the glass ceiling coming out reverse, okay, or they was avoiding something, possibly avoiding this tower moment if you were dealing with a third party or four party situation here. Someone definitely moved forward with the Wonderlist. This is the chariot card. Some of you may be traveling again. Some of you are looking forward to traveling here. I feel like... Okay, for some of you, you may have traveled recently and hooked up with a soulmate. Okay, yeah, this could have been a business owner or you are this business owner that wants to travel. All right, Libra, what's here? Ether, show me what it is I need to see for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh, justice wanted to come out. So that's double justice. It's a lot of uh, karma associated with the water signs at this time. Now, it could be good karma, well, high level karma or lower level karma. Okay. Higher level karma is where you're receiving blessings. Lower level karma is when you have dues to pay. Either show me what it is all right yeah midlife crisis quarter life crisis so i feel like it's my time i keep hearing it's my time it's my time for some of you it's time for you to get married some of you may be reviewing why you married a certain person okay for some of you you're dealing with someone that is very judgmental about marriage they may have commitment phobia i feel like there was some sort of justice brought to a situation possibly due to an ending here Okay, you could have something to do with the Scorpio, Libra, or Sagittarius. All right, strong Sagittarius energy. Okay, as well as Pluto. All right, so obviously we have someone that's very much into smoking. We have the urban farmer. You could be a grower. That could be your business. All right. Oh, yes, we have the infamous F boy. RF girl. This is the devil energy. This is someone that takes, takes, takes and only worries about themselves. This is someone very materialistic and used to being in the spotlight. With the sun card, you could be dealing with the Leo. Something came out about this person, possibly that this person was married. Okay. Why is the home brewer here? Why is the home brewer here for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? Yeah, okay, so someone possibly put you down or you put this person down. Someone could see you as self-conscious, not knowing your worth, or you felt like this person didn't know their worth and they possibly closed the cycle with you or vice versa. They had you fucked up. I always hear that. <laughs> okay, so this person had you waiting. This person had you waiting. You were waiting. You could have possibly isolated yourself from family or friends. Okay, for some of you, while you were in this isolation, while we were in quarantine, something was found out. You used your instinct, okay, about someone that was creating a lot of illusions here. Something became apparent to you. Self worth. Clarify self worth for fire signs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you were in a situation that was unbalanced or this is the way your person sees you and they completed the cycle. You may have uh, had a lot of passion uh, with this person. For others of you, it could have been um, a situation where you keep stopping. Okay. So some of you were dealing with someone that was older than you or vice versa. Okay. The Etsy queen. 
wisdom. Okay, so you have all the knowledge um, that you need in this situation to push you forward. For some of you, um, you're ending a 10-year karmic cycle. I heard nine, seven. So you gained a lot of knowledge, okay? Yeah, you're no longer isolating yourself. You're enlightened here. Yeah, okay. Someone, some of you were dealing with someone that was just really complacent, okay? This person felt like they didn't have to do a lot in their situation. Now they want to come back because they see you, all right? A lot of people see you. You've coming out. You're coming out of isolation. Isolation. I want more. Or I want more isolation. I want more. Okay. Yeah. You're enlightened. You have all the information that you need. Okay. Some of you may have Virgo in your chart. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. This is you, Virgo. Some of you, yeah, some of you got Virgo in your chart. Okay, so this is you, Virgo. Okay, um, wanting things to be perfect, all right, wanting to uh, say the right things, do the right things, have things um, go perfectly for some of you, okay, or this is your person that's coming in, okay, they feel like they don't have enough. Why is the glass ceiling reversed here for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Glass ceiling reversed. Okay. <laughs> okay. So someone is definitely feeling oppressed in their situation. You may have felt oppressed. I feel like... Some of you are dealing with someone that was afraid of change here, okay? So they could have possibly been avoiding an ending, um, and the tower came in, okay? So this is someone that uh, denied the truth or hid the truth, didn't want to didn't want to believe in the truth. I, I feel like it had a lot to do with money. Wonderless. Yeah, discovery. So, yeah, something was found out, and you moved away from this person. Yeah. For some of you, this is in the future. You kind of, you're impatient. Okay. Some of you waiting to do moon magic. Okay. Yeah. You're waiting to get out of the environment that you are in. Okay. Yeah. Your prayers are going to be answered. All right. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the yoga instructor. This is uh, balancing out karma. For some of you, this is what this is telling you. For others of you, someone could have lied about a marriage. Okay, you may have. Oh, okay. So, yeah, someone lied about a marriage here. This is someone that is a workaholic or they're dealing with someone. Because yeah, it's uh, energy. Let me get these readings out, okay? So, bear with me. All right, so some of you, it was a bittersweet moment because this person played a lot of games, uh, presented a lot of illusion, blew a lot of smoke. They also had uh, people possibly spying on you or vice versa, okay? Uh, trickery. Why is trickery here for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio? Yeah, the victim wanted to come out. Trickery. <laughs> yeah, the trickery was someone was trying to block your path, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? Um, this could have been um, unknowingly for some of you. Some of you, you knew that your path was being uh, blocked, and this is your confirmation that justice is being served, okay? You could have possibly been dealing with a high priestess or someone that's into a cult. Yeah. yeah, some of you, this is a soulmate, um, you're dealing with or they're dealing with that was trying to block their past, presenting a lot of illusions, lying, okay? Um, this person could always see that they were at work and they wasn't. Someone used their instincts here. They knew or you knew that this person was presenting a facade. For some of you, this person um, played like they liked your children to reel you in, okay? Yeah, for your acceptance here, they put on a good show. That's what I heard. To cause you to have some sort of confusion to keep you um, off of your path here yeah to block you i feel like you were dealing with someone that was blocking your light all right so i want to get this reading out it's a lot of cuts in it so my apologies for all the cuts in the reading i'm about to piece this thing together like a like a jigsaw puzzle yeah
All right, either show me what it is I need to see for each and every sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, please like, comment, and subscribe. That's a good way to show some reciprocity. It's really driving me. Okay, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, get on your spiritual path. There's healing for you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, I'm hitting in everything. Child. Okay, karmic completion. Right, enlightenment. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Mm. So it's going to be a change, water signs. For you to love yourselves to stay, keep going out, but I'm pushing through, all right? It's time for you to follow your dreams. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, pay attention to the synchronicities. There's a karmic completion here for you. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.